Lava Show. Show. We're here in Iceland in the town of Vik at the Icelandic Lava Show. Iceland is a country known for fire and ice. It's made up of tons of volcanoes. In fact, there are over 130 volcanoes on this island, one of which erupts about every four years. The most recent volcano erupted not far from here in 2021. This one hour lava show is going to teach us about the history of the volcanoes here on Iceland. And then they're going to pour red hot molten lava down a chute right before our very eyes. It's real lava, actual real live lava. We're going to learn what lava is made of and how it forms lava tunnels. The show is about to start. And it's so hot that you have to wear these glasses when they pour it down the spout. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm ready. But what you're gonna see today, it's a typical lava river. Can you see this black material here? So it's all around the lava slide. And this is lava, but it's more specifically basalt. Basalt is the most common vol volcanic rock in the world. It's making 75 to 80 percent of Iceland. But we know this basalt exploded under the glacier when Katla erupted the last time, in 1980. That's what we're using in the back, in the furnace, to do the lava you're going to see today. So we're remetting lava from 100 years ago. There are more active volcanoes concentrated in Iceland than anywhere else on the planet. Iceland has over 30 active volcanoes, of which 13 have erupted in the last 1,000 years. It's also responsible for one third of all the lava on Earth. Are you ready? If you can see like the bubbles on the surface, it's just the steam going through the lava and making this tiny explosion. In nature, Lava is losing around 100 degrees Celsius every kilometer it's flowing. So you can see on top of the floor there is some wavy shape. So this is called Rumpi Pahoihoi. You can find that a lot around Iceland. So I'm going to put the ice on top. The lava is going to cool down very quickly. And when lava is cooling down very quickly, there is no time for crystal to appear into the lava. And you're just turning the lava into what it's most made of. And it's most made of silica, 47%. So you're turning the lava into a volcanic glass. Some of the steam is going up, as you can see. And actually, this area is getting lifted a little bit. It's just the steam that is traveling through and trying to escape, but it's kind of stuck here. And where I put the ice on top, you can see that it's turning to a volcanic glass here. And now it's going down over the edge of the floor. I can actually go under it. And I can lift it. Because the lava is solidified around the floor, but inside it's still flowing very hot. That's how you do lava tunnel or lava tube in nature. And what you can see is that the lava inside is still very hot and very liquid. But let's say in the open here it's going to cool down very fast. So this is just the lava cooling down. And what's happening is lava when it's a liquid it's taking more space. So when cooling down it's actually contracting on itself. It's getting more solid. It's making cracks and fissures into it. That's what you can hear, it's just the lava breaking itself apart. Just put a napkin in the lava as it was cooling down and it burst into flames. I have to give you an idea like, of the temperature of the lava. I can tell it's very hot. It's a weapon. We're gonna learn what lava is made of and how it forms lava tub tubbles. No. Tubbles. Oh. Yes. Yes. The okay. <laughs> 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 